Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Graveyard Shift, and if you want to work the Graveyard Shift, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual. So yeah, this is going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be working the Graveyard Shift at a cemetery. Let's see how I fare. I hope you enjoy it. This is Graveyard Shift. In the silence of the night, demons ambush our thoughts, and madness unfurls its flag in our hearts. For sometimes the darkest corners of our minds have their own demonic allure. Alright. I have one question at this point, and one question only. Am I going to survive the night? I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. Okay. Here we are then. We have arrived at perhaps our final destination. Ah, oh, that bodes well, doesn't it? <laughs> at least they're not vultures. Right. Whispering Wind Cemetery. Okay. And here we are, in control. Okay. I'm going to try and do the smart thing and leave. <laughs> Let's see. I, oh, I got this job the hard way. I don't want to be fired for leaving the post. I like that was there, though. Yeah. I certainly like that that was there. I always appreciate it when horror protagonists try and do the smart thing, but can't. Because of, well, some reason. Hi there. I'm glad to see you. And I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. Well, we'll see about that. I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place, and may be a bit scared, but you'll get used to it soon. Will I? This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. Well, I hope I'll find enjoyment, but it's probably not going to be in tranquility and silence. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. Okay. You should know that many famous people are buried here. Oh, really? Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. Johnny? Uh, and where's Johnny? Johnny's not your puppet by any chance, is he? Because you are a fantastic ventriloquist. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, hi. Uh, Johnny? Johnny? No? No? If it's Johnny, he doesn't want to talk. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, oh, we've got a map and we've got the journal here as well. I've got to go to the security room and talk to Johnny. Okay, so Johnny is uh, sort of at the west by the looks of it. So, I guess kind of straight ahead of me? Yeah, alright. Seems like a fairly big place, honestly. Ah, is that Johnny over there? Right. Hi there. You must be the new night shift guard. You should know that guarding the cemetery isn't easy. No? The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. Okay. Tonight, the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the Ghost Rock group here tonight. Ghost Rock? Tomorrow, the funeral for these will be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. All right. There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. Go on. The previous night shift guard died of a heart attack. Ooh. And we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. I don't want to scare you, but I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. All right. Thanks, Johnny. Okay. And away he goes. So, am I by myself at this point? Hmm. Okay. Let's begin our shift, I suppose. Uh, so, let's see. What's the next task? 
Uh, I need to ask the guy to get out of the cemetery because the opening hours are over. Right, okay. Uh, which guy, exactly? I mean, they've driven away, presumably. Was it the guy that was- ah, right, you're still here, yet yeah, you need to leave. Uh, excuse me, sir. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gate. Right, uh, whoa, uh, okay. Oh, he is mad. He is furious, and maybe slightly constipated. But he is doing, as I'm telling him, he is actually heading for the gate. Uh, alright. Now I need to close the gate of the cemetery so that no one enters. Right, okay, so I'll just wait for this guy to leave and, well, presumably close the gate after him, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. There we go. And now I'm logged in. He seemed nervous. Did he get upset by my words? Well, let's see. Okay, so back to the security room and I've got to check the CCTV. Right. I'm very curious as to why Fuse is on the map. I, I guess we're going to have some electrical issues later on. But yeah, big place. I'll explore a little bit later on. For now, let's go to the security room and maybe check out that CCTV. Alright, so round here. It was just that one guy here, right? I mean, I didn't really look over the place, did I? I'm <laughs> just assuming it was the one guy. Alright. Here we are then. So, this is the CCTV? Okay. Alright. Okay, we got various crypts there by the looks of it. That would be the entrance to the church. And I suppose that would be inside the church. Everything seems normal. Ah. Uh, there seems to be an issue with the pipework. I, I think there's a leak. Okay, that'll be the main gate. The car's there. There's the gate itself. We've got quite a few cameras. Okay. Oh, that'll be um, inside one of the other buildings, I suppose. Okay. There are the bodies. Alright. Presumably the coffin's lined up for them. Okay, right. Uh, so, yeah, we should we should probably take a look at that pipe, shouldn't we? Examine the water pipe. Okay, uh, let's see. It was quite hard to tell exactly where that was, although, wait, am I... <laughs> I might be seeing the arrow, so I might be heading right... right towards it. Am I... oh, I got stuck. <laughs> Almost fell through the floor there. Wait, is there a dog here? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I told everyone to leave, did I? Okay. I have to close the water tank. I bet you do. Right. So, the water tank's gonna be this way? Let's just follow the pipe work. Around there? Okay. There's one of the cameras, of course. I. Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? No! No, I haven't, and to be honest, I never want to. There we are. Did that fix the problem? Hmm. Probably. Uh, are they statues? I... No. No, they're not. <laughs> I... I can't believe my eyes. Hmm. Yeah, this must be the tranquility that the priest was talking about. Uh, okay, so let's see. What's the next objective? Check the CCTV again. Right, I, I suppose I can check the pipe from there, can't I? I can check everything from there. That was a little bit weird. Alright. Let's see then. Okay. So far, so good. No group of people. Alright. Okay, well there you go, there's the pipe. It looks like the water has stopped leaking from the pipe, so that's great. Alright. Okay. No, it's not okay. One of the bodies is now on the floor. How the hell did that happen? Alright. Well, presumably we've got to go and sort that out as well, haven't we? Okay. So, a change has occurred in the dissection hall. Check it out, right. Dissection hall, so that's going to be out on to the right. That building over there? Alright. <laughs> I suppose if I just keep following the objectives, I'm going to explore the place that way, aren't I? So, yeah. 
Let's see. Around here? Hmm. That probably should have been locked. Someone's just messing with me, right? Let's see. This way? No. Left? Okay, that seems to work. That... <laughs> the girl with the pearl earring? Really? Okay, that was a weird jump scare. Okay, but there's the body. How the hell did you fall off? You are dead, right? Okay. Look at me, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> Made that look easy. Alright. Go back to the security room. Simple as that. What the fuck? <laughs> alright, alright. So, let's see. This way? Okay. Okay, so we've got the other side with the coffins over here. Uh, and that appears to be that. Okay. I don't know exactly what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's like running water or, I don't know, there's a, an electrical issue. Hmm. Anyway, back to the security room, right? Wait, what the... A skull that is not whether it is real or fake? <laughs> that hurt my brain to read. Uh, okay, that wasn't there before, was it? We're just going to leave that there, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, let's get back to the security room. Maybe let's go check that CCTV again. Check the area. Oh? Ah, hang on. Is there a phone in here somewhere? There it is. There you go. Oh, hang on. I'm locked in. Oh! What the hell was all that about? I can't do anything else with the phone. What else we got? Okay. That sounds a little bit better. Right. Can we open some of these lockers? No. Let's go and check the CCTV again. Alright. Things seem fairly normal. Hey, hang on. Was, was there someone at the gate? Hello? Ooh, <laughs> that's quite a get-up you're wearing. Um... Yeah, I, should I go and say that you can't come in? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the bodies are where they should be. As are the coffins. Right. Okay. A guy's standing in front of the door. I don't need to tell him to go. He'll understand. Right. So there's a working lock on this door, but I still can't leave. I don't quite understand. Wait, was this here before? What the? I am the security guard of this cemetery, and I'm leaving a message for the next guard here. I'm here at night, between 3 and 4 a.m., and I see a very frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery, standing over a grave. But I don't dare to approach her. Her crying is intensely eerie and disturbing, and it's unbearable. I've recently found a solution that can make her voice somewhat more tolerable for you. Just whisper, Jesus Christ, 20 times. We don't know who this nun is, but I'm certain that she's not... Human. Okay. Any other new additions to the room? Not that I can see. Is there something under the bed? Hmm. Can we go now? Okay, we still can't go. Apparently I need to rest. We do have a bed here. Right, I, I need to take a nap. This is <laughs> this has all been too much. I've only been here for like 15 minutes, but man. Whew. I don't know if I'd sleep after that, to be honest, but sure. Okay... Presumably this is a dream. Wow. One hell of a dream. Yeah, I... I, I don't think taking this job was the right move for you, honestly. <laughs> should have gone back to the car, should have driven away. Should have found something else to do. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Towards the light, maybe? Towards the sun? 
It just seems to go on infinitely. Right. Yeah, okay. Alright, hang on. There is actually something over here to the left. Another light. Not the sun. What is it? A lantern? A lamp? There's something. There's whispering. Oh. Oh, I see. Was this my grave? <laughs> Was this hole for me? Right. It's only a dream, right? It's only a dream. I hope. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. We got eyes. Oh, dear. There's more. Oh, could, uh, could you stop looking at me, please? Okay. <laughs> ah, right. That woke me up. All right. I think nap time's over. Back to work. I wonder if that guy actually did go away. Or maybe he climbed the gate. Maybe he's now inside somewhere. I, I guess now we've got to go in... Wait. What? Why is the dish spilled? Fuck. Oh, and that note's gone. Wait, this is this is all moved. That's been disconnected. There's a flashlight, I think. I, I can't pick it up though. Right, let's go and check this. Okay. They're not eyes, are they? Hmm. I've got some lights in the distance. I <laughs> I hope they're not eyes. All right. Oh? Oh, something set the car alarm off. Okay, well, at least the guy's not at the gate, but you know, I do wonder if he's inside now. Okay. The bodies, they, they haven't moved, that's good. Seems very, very dark now, doesn't it? Right. Okay, so what exactly is my next move? It's... Oh, it's to pick the flashlight up and find a way to disable the car alarm. Okay. So, oh, that, the flashlight opens the door? The flashlight opens the door. Fair enough. <laughs> oh boy, it's really, really dark. Okay, uh, so the cars were by the gate, weren't they? If I just follow my ears, I should be able to find them. Okay. Here we are then. Uh, so, how are we going to sort this out? I need a tool in the warehouse. Okay. The warehouse, that's the building over there, is it? Seems like it. Okay. Right, so yeah, it's just like the cityscape. <laughs> it's not eyes in the darkness. Good. Alright, so... Hmm. Nah, that was gonna happen anyway, I'm sure. A crowbar? <laughs> Are we just gonna break in? No, no, I guess not, actually. We're not going to take this with us. Okay, we got any other tools? Um, again, can't open the, the lockers. Something down here? Uh, okay, that's that's the tool that I needed, apparently. Uh, let's see. Okay. What exactly are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, let's go and find out. I have to disconnect the car's alarm wire, otherwise the car's battery may run out. Oh, okay, so what, we're gonna open the bonnet here? Right, here we go. Alright. And we'll just give that a snip. Okay, well, I, I guess that's one way to solve the problem. Right. So, what? Back to the, yeah, back to the security room, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth in this game. Yeah, okay. The less of that, the better. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm actually quite enjoying this. Ooh. I knew there was going to be an electrical issue. The fuse has blown. Find the fuse. That's why it's on the map. Okay, so it's in the, the northeast corner. 
very, very close to that valve, actually. So, this way. No group of ghosts? No? Okay. Let's keep it that way. Alright, so... Yeah, here we are, here we are. It's, it's a fuse box. Uh, is this safe? Well, I'm not dead. Yet. Check CCTV. Okay. Alright, back to the CCTV. That was a quick fix. Didn't actually need to go and find a fuse or anything. That was probably a coyote or a fox or a mountain lion. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Okay, maybe it is something to worry about, especially if it's a mountain lion, but right. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to close this, <laughs> and we're going to go and check the CCTV. Okay. All good. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, what? Two of the bodies now? What is going on? Right, okay. Uh, back to the dissection room, I suppose? Yeah. How could the bodies have raised? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I guess there's three possibilities. One is paranormal. Two, someone's dicking around with you. Or three, they weren't actually dead. Maybe they were just paralyzed or something. Yeah, this is, uh, this is turning out to be a worse and worse decision. Okay. Through here then, yeah? Wait, wh where did the art go? <laughs> oh, wait, where did the bo- oh, where did the bodies go? They're empty bags. Find a way- wait, find a way out? What? Hang on. <laughs> Am I locked in? A key should be around here. What? For fuck's sake. Uh, okay. Let's see. This one? Okay, no, that's... that's locked. Uh, through here? Alright. Let's see. Like, oh. Fuck was that? I think something just smashed. Right. Is there a key on the floor? You got a key? No? Hmm. Oh, it, wait. I wasn't there before. And this wasn't positioned like this before, but hey, at least I've got the key. Right? I've got the key. Let's get the hell out of here. No? That's not working? Uh, okay, well let's try this one again. Oh, that works. Hey, there we go. Alright. So we've got the, the furnace, the incinerator here, by the looks of it. Let's just leave it as it is. A fire axe? Alright. Hey, I've got myself an axe! Uh, are we smashing through the... Hold on. We will not be buried here. Forget that! Who's this? Is this that nun? Right, I, I think we're smashing our way through. No? And, and there's no key in the inventory. <laughs> there is an axe, though! I guess that's not going to work. Right, um... So what do I do with the axe? Through here? Hmm, no. Um... Are we smashing open the coffins? Oh, my <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> Who the hell was that? There is a board on the window. It was for the board, okay. Who was that giant guy outside, though? Well, we're gonna climb out and find out for ourselves. Alright. Okay, well, at least we're outside. We did find a way out. So, what's it gonna be? Keep Johnny informed by phone. Right, yeah, okay, let's call Johnny. That's actually a smart decision. I think the smartest decision is to just leave, but, yeah, I guess that'll be second best. Did I just... Did I just see something there? 
Like someone going around the corner? I... I don't know. Maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me at this point. It's very dark. It's very, very dark. Okay. Hey. You're not Johnny. Who are you? Hey. Mm. And of course you're gone. <sighs> right. I think I'm going to close this. And you know what? I think I'm going to lock it too. Yeah. Let's just stay here. Maybe go for another nap. No? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is all moved back. Weird. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. Well, hey, I tried, didn't I? I tried. Check the CCTV. Yeah, I suppose uh, that's probably the smartest thing to do right now. Okay. What the fuck's going on now? Okay, I, I, I don't think we're meant to be having any, like, 3 a.m. grave digging, right? Okay, let's just go through the other cameras, see what else is going on. I'm curious about the bodies, actually. Oh, no signal! So the camera's not working? That one is. Okay, right. Uh, where was that guy digging? Around the crypts, right? Like, over here? Let's see. Have I still got that axe? Um, I've got a, I've, I've got a photo album, <laughs> which is shaped like an axe, and I've got this tool still, right. Okay. Where were you? Somewhere around here? By the fire? Uh, he dug that grave. What the? Alright. Okay, hang on. What the hell? Ooh, bloody handprints on it. Oh, wow. Look what devil has do. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, 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 dear. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? There is something wrong with this graveyard. I have to leave this cemetery as soon as possible so that I don't die myself. Smart move, man. Smart move. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, this way. Alright. Was I supposed to be a cemetery guard or a damn ghost club? I'll not stay here even for a moment. Wise words. Oh. Do we have the key? Oh shit, the lock's been changed! Who did that? Uh, hang on. What the hell? Are they supposed to be the people buried in this cemetery? Buried in this graveyard? Probably, right? Oh, they don't want me to leave. <sighs> well, there's only one thing for it. Back to the security room. Yeah, there's a lot of going back and forth. Maybe a little bit too much back and forth, but I am enjoying this. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is anything but tranquil. Okay. All right, let's close the door again. The CCTV, come on. All right. Hello. You're new. That was inside the church, right? I haven't actually checked that out. Maybe that's my next move. No one at the gate? No, okay. That's still broken. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I, I think we should probably go back out and have a look at the church, right? There is someone in the church. Check out! <laughs> okay, let's go check out. Let's see, through the bushes. Here's the door. 
Hello? That didn't lock, did it? Oh, wait. oh, it did. Hang on, hang on. Uh, no, put it back. Oh, it's still locked? Oh, okay, right. Let's see. What have we got here? Is that... Oh, it's a chest. What does this say? We, the buried ones in the cemetery, have a message for you. For years, a demon has been buried here, tormenting our souls. Now, you are condemned to destroy the demon within this cemetery and save us from torment. Otherwise, a harsh death awaits you. Wonderful! Wonderful. Yeah, this job was such a good idea, wasn't it? What the hell? Follow the footprint. Or well, footprints. I'm, I'm sorry, did, does this person have three feet? <laughs> we got anything else in here? I don't want to take the good book with me. Um, nothing over there? No? Okay. Can we leave then? Oh, we can! Right. Okay. Let's see. Around here, to the... To the right? To the gate? Are we heading to the gate? No. We're heading back to the, the warehouse. But not the warehouse. Around here? Okay. Haven't been this way before. Okay, down to the left. Oh, we've got a uh, a crypt or a mausoleum or something by the looks of it. Is this where I'm going next? I, oh, I, I need a tool to break the door lock. Right, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> staff don't have the keys, of course. But they do have crowbars. So let's go and get that crowbar. Okay. There we go. I've actually picked it up this time. So, yeah, that's what we're going to use. We're going to crowbar our way in. This is really not a very good idea. Even if they've locked you in, climb over. I mean, I know it might be painful, but you just do it. Honestly, do it. <sighs> right. Okay. Third time's the charm. Oh, it's not? Oh, fourth is. Okay. <laughs> and here we are. Oh boy. Down there. They led me here. There must be something important here. Or oh, they're just trying to get me killed. Maybe a bit of both. I guess we're about to find out. Honestly, this is this is very rough around the edges. And you know, there's there's certain areas in the game that are certainly lacking. But I am enjoying this. I am entertained. Smith, 1932. Can we get in? Don't think so. Right. Left or right? Left? Uh, yeah, it looks like left is the way we need to go. There's Taylor over here. 1940. Just family crypts, maybe? Hmm. Alright, well, I guess that's not what we're looking for. That's not the important thing that I'm being led to. Uh, hello? Hmm. I was, at the very least, expecting a doll or something like that, you know? That's usually how it goes. <laughs> uh, Jones? Jones, 1945. And again, we can't go through. Probably for the best. Alright. Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Over here, we've got... Roberts, 1951. Anything notable? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's move on. Right, let's see. This way. Ah! Hello! Right. Uh, hmm. Are you benevolent? Malevolent? <laughs> Are you leading me to something? And is that something good? You're leading me to what seems to be a bit of a blockage. You can't you can actually jump in this game. But, yeah, can't get through, I don't think. Invisible barrier. All right. Johnson, 1968. Uh, no. This way, then. Okay. Uh, looks like there is a gap over here to the left. All right. 
I'm expecting another jump scare. Hmm. Instead, we just get creepy sound effects. That's okay. What the fuck? Okay. There's something on the wall here. Look at this coffin. It's floating. Is this... Is this the demon's coffin? What does this say, then? Uh, Williams or Parrington? Youngest child between books and rotting corpses. A Williams or Britain family youngest child. Right, okay. Uh, sure. This is one that I can try and open. Right, we're going to have to go this way, I think. Williams Parrington? Oh, there we go. Parrington, 1917. And there's Williams, 1915. Some really early ones by the looks of it. So wait, what did it say? Between books and rotting corpses. Okay, well, looks like we've got a bit of a puzzle on our hands. I'm not entirely sure, though. Let's see, let's start with Williams over here. Okay. Right, so we've got various graves, various statues. Any keys or anything quite like that? No. Oh. Hmm. You're not holding anything? No? Oh, hold on. Ah! Ah, I can shift this to the side. Okay, well, we've got a body in there. That's to be expected, I suppose. Anything else? I don't think so. What about the others? Can we... Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it seems like this guy was uh, cocooned. Over here? Alright, maybe something in here? Not that I can see, no, okay. Um, might be barking up the wrong tree, or I'm in the wrong area. So that was Williams, let's try Parrington, shall we? Similar kind of thing, looks like we've got four graves. Okay, just the head. Just the head. And was that a pelvis or something? A, <laughs> a brooch? I'm not really sure what that is. But uh, yeah, uh, Grave Rob has got to that guy. Oh, and this guy's missing a head. Okay. You know, we could probably save some space by just. No, that would be disrespectful. Okay. Mm. Got one. Oh, shit. I. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that. I thought that was maybe part of a statue or something. You got anything around there? No. Okay. Well, maybe this is the one that I need to look at. Oh, I think it is. We've got the books. We've got a key. There we go. Right. That's gonna... That's gonna get us into that coffin. Let's see. Yes, it does. Right. So, yeah, this isn't normal. The candles are lit, as if someone was here today. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Another axe? Another axe. Can I dual wield axes at this point? You know, one tool, one photo album, maybe? Have I got to chop the chains or something? Let's see. Ah, there we go, right. Simple as that. Okay, we've brought the coffin down. Let's see. Man, it is so dark. Right. Oh, you're holding something. What is this? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Elias, although the devil has possessed your body and soul in this transient world, from today you will peacefully rest in eternal sleep because the merciful Lord keeps you away from the devil. Elias, may the Lord forgive your sins and place your soul in peace. 1917, Whispering Winds Graveyard. Right. And we set fire to it. Okay. All right. So now we need to exit the tomb. I couldn't agree more. Okay, let's get out of here. Back the way I came. Back this way. Right. So, is everyone happy now? Are you going to let me leave? 
<laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? This... I don't think this is the way we came, is it? No, this is new. This is different. I wasn't here before. What the hell? Up there? Back to up. <laughs> uh, well, up is better, I suppose. Yeah, up's going to get me back to ground level, hopefully. It's a long way. Into the void we go. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, we're above ground. We've escaped the tomb. But unfortunately, it seems like we're still in the cemetery. Hmm. Okay. Naturally, of course, we need to get back to the security room. There's more CCTV to check, right? So where's this? This is... right. Is this still locked up? Just out of interest? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Okay. This way? Oh, I hear, I hear crying from there. I'll go check. No, you fucking won't. Yes, you fucking will. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I can see someone as well. Are they real? Are they alive or are they dead? <laughs> Ghost? Demon? Not sure. Hello? Visiting hours are well and truly over, you know that, right? <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. <sighs> right. Please tell me I don't have to go back into the tomb. Get back to the security room. Right, that's what I wanted to do from the get-go. <sighs> yeah, I'm having fun with this. Floors and all. All right, yeah, back this way. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Maybe I should just camp out in the security room. Have another nap, you know? Have we got a clock in here or anything? Uh, <laughs> we do have an upside-down crucifix. I don't know what the time is. I, I don't know, you know, when the sun's going to come up. I don't know how far through this graveyard shift we actually are. Right, let's see. Okay. Oh, come on. Was the- Oh, he's back digging? Wait. Wait, maybe he's filling in the hole. That'd actually be doing me a favor. Oh, hello again. You're back. What? Wait. You're that guy from the beginning. What are you doing here? The car alarm again? Oh, and you're back as well? Oh, the gang's all here! <laughs> what? What? Okay. Oh, the camera's working. Uh, the three are now strung up on the ceiling. See you in the hell. What the fuck is going on? Uh, right. I I honestly don't know what to tackle first. Devil does not... Oh, the devil does not burn. So that didn't work? Oh, shit. Can I just go to sleep? Whoa. Right. Leave the area. Okay. How? I can't even try the door. Uh, <laughs> there's no vent. There's a big window, I suppose. Oh, okay, we just use the window. Fairly simple, really. Okay. Out we go. But there's still the issue of the lock, uh, you know, on the gate, right? Maybe we are just going to climb over the fence. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like we can. Or <laughs> we should be able to. <laughs> Okay, that's not going to work. Right, um... Oh shit! Bloody hell! <laughs> Some of the jump scares have really worked. Oh boy. Uh, another dream? Another nightmare? Where am I? I died? Uh, don't know about that. I do know that I don't have my flashlight. Oh, hello. Throw me a ladder down, would you? I think I'm knocked out. I, yeah. Oh, hello. You were the guy at the gate, weren't you? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm knocked out. I think this is another nightmare. 
Right. Well, I worked myself up before. I can probably wake myself up again, right? Giant warehouse fire ravages city street. That's not relevant. Seems like we can't actually open these. There's always someone watching me. Hey, oh. It's different. Right. Ah. Ah, okay. Ah, another hole? Hey, it worked before. Oh. Oh? What the... Okay. Where, <laughs> where are we now? Are we still in the dream? Still in the nightmare? Is that... Oh, there's a lever! Okay. Hello again. Why won't you let me leave? I tried my best, okay? Yeah. This seems like a very, very long hallway. I think it does end, though. Another door, another lever. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I should be so lucky to get a light source and a nightmare, I suppose. Oh, we're going up then. Alright. It's so dark. Something up here? A door? Okay. Oh, it's the security room. Wait, what have we got here? A tape? Uh, I can't go back, but then why would I want to, right? What's on the tape? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the VHS info, I suppose. Uh, right. It's unmarked, so I don't know what's going to be on it, but... I guess we're about to find out. Let's see. Play? Hello there, viewers. Today's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of a demon-possessed man. Uh -huh. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible, and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and oh, the God. spirits of Whispering Winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. So I've just made things worse? And what was that bit at the end? Death is the only punishment for me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, are we going to watch that again? I, I don't think so. Okay, well, <laughs> we're not escaping through the window this time. Can we check the CCTV? No signal. Of course. The radio? The radio's not there. The flashlight? I can't use. Oh, hang on. Don't look at up. You mean don't look up? I'm going to look up. <laughs> so... Is that me dying? Or was that me waking from the nightmare? Oh! Hang on. Was that daylight? Wait, please don't tell me it was all a dream. But, well, I don't know. Maybe we can meet in the middle. Did I, did I actually survive the night? Huh. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, it's daylight. All right. Everything so far seems normal. No one lurking in the church. Okay. No one standing there. No leak. No car alarm. Go oh, there's someone at the gate, actually. Is that the priest? Yeah, there he is. Well, that's actually a friendly face. Okay. Okay, the bodies are where they should be. No ghosts, no markings on the floor. Uh, okay. The bodies are in their places. There's no sign of last night's nightmare. That's good. All right. Let's have a look at that objective. Meet the priest at the exit of the cemetery. All right. That is an objective I can get on with. Well. Honestly, I, I wasn't expecting to survive. Yeah. 
am I going to come back for a second night? I don't think so. <laughs> or at least I certainly hope not. Right. You would not believe the night I've had. Or maybe you would. Maybe that would explain that expression on your face. How was the first night of guarding at Whispering Wind Cemetery? I think you'd agree that being the guard in this place revitalizes the human spirit. <laughs> I wouldn't really word it like that, but I, I guess. <laughs> right. Nice car, by the way. I'm getting out of here, right? I'm getting out of here, and I'm never coming back. See ya! <laughs> uh, okay. The car drops in, and away we go. We're actually in control. We're driving away. We're escaping ourselves. <sighs> okay. Oh no, hang on. Okay, th th <laughs> there's not a demon on the passenger seat or anything like that. Okay. Let's see, around the corner here. Okay. What makes a woman hang her weary head? Okay, yeah, there's no one in the car with me, I don't think. No, okay, I'm by myself. When she starts to tell her only loving man goodbye. Are we gonna see the credits? Seems like the perfect time for the credits, you know, but they're not coming up, so I don't think it's over quite yet. Alright. Is that a viaduct or something? Oh shit, it's that guy. It's that guy! The guy that we saw at the gate. It isn't over. Bloody hell. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Climb out! Climb out, for fuck's sake! Oh man, so after all that, after getting through the night, after surviving our shift with a glimpse of hope, on the verge of escape, we got God. There is no escape. That was Graveyard Shift, everyone. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this one. I, for one, really quite enjoyed this, much more than I thought I would. And I am acknowledging that it's not a perfect game, it does have its flaws, it's unpolished, it's rough around the edges in various ways. Grammatical issues, the voice acting, stiff animations, there's perhaps a little bit too much going back and forth and mm, too many cliches here and there perhaps. But looking past all that, I found it to be really interesting. I thought it was actually executed fairly well. There's some cool sections, some scary moments, and overall, for the hour that I played it, I was entertained. And hopefully you were as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Am I going to survive the night? I'm thinking probably not. I'm going to try and do the smart thing and leave. <laughs> Let's see. I, oh, you're still here. Yeah, you need to leave. Uh, excuse me, sir. I must... Are they statues? I... No. No, they're not. <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the pearl earring? Really? Okay, that was a weird jump scare. A skull that is not whether it is real or fake? <laughs> that hurt my brain to read. Hey, hang on. Was, was there someone at the gate? Hello? Back to the security room. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth in this game. Oh, my <laughs> Whoa! What? Who are you? Hey. And of course you're gone. Look what devil has do. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear! A harsh death awaits you. Wonderful! Wonderful. Yeah, this job was such a good idea, wasn't it? Up there. Back to up. <laughs> I hear crying from there. I'll go check. No, you fucking won't. Yes, you fucking will. Oh, shit. 
Visiting hours are well and truly over, you know that, right? <laughs> You're that guy from the beginning, what are you doing here? The car alarm again? Oh, and you're back as well? Oh, the gang's all here! <laughs> what? What? Um... Oh shit! Bloody hell. Am I gonna come back for a second night? I don't think so. <laughs> or at least I certainly hope not. See ya! <laughs>